stamping. Today I have a Valentine treat for you and we're going to be using our new cone cello bags and we're going to embellish this tag and clip it to our bag. So let me show you the supplies that we're going to be using today. As I mentioned before, we're going to use the polka dot cello bags. Here they are, they come like this in a package, and I believe you get 25. We'll also use the stamp set, Bloom and Love, and we'll also use the coordinating framelit, excuse me, which is right here, and we'll cut the heart out in rose red. Some other thinlet dies that we're going to use for this project. We're going to use the deco label and we'll actually use the second one from the largest. So it will be this one right here, second one to the largest. We'll also use the tags and labels and let me show these to you. We'll use this size label for our stamped uh, cardstock. And then we're going to use this label right here for the uh, silver glimmer paper. So these are the two. It's going to be the largest one here and then, um, and then the middle size for this one. We'll also use this embossing folder and um, I will include a supply list for you so you'll have all the necessary products. We'll also use some rose red ink, some silver taffeta ribbon, one of our little clothespins, and we're going to use some of our small pearls. So, let's get started. The first thing you'll want to do is to fill your cello bag. And then once it's almost full, I like to just flip this over and I'm going to use my Stampin' Up! stapler and I'm going to put a staple there and a staple there and that will secure what's inside the bag. You will notice with these little gumballs, they do not go all the way to the end. Let me show you the gumballs. Um, they're Celebration by Sweetworks and they've got uh, really cute little Valentine messages on them. All right, the next thing, we'll want to trim our bag just a little bit. So this little part here, we're just gonna trim off. We're just making it even so that this doesn't show once we put our tag on. Again, I'm going to go over to the other side and I am going to trim this point off as well. And then we'll have that out of the way. Now our next step is to go ahead and to cut one of our deco labels in crumb cake. So you will cut this one out and then you're going to insert it into the embossing folder, which I will get out again so you can see it. And then you're just gonna insert it like this to emboss it. And I'll show you what that looks like close up so you can kind of get a better idea. You can certainly use any embossing folder and um, you can also just leave it plain if you would like. Okay, so now that we have this done, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to add our beautiful uh, heart that looks like a doily and um, it's cut out in rose red. And we're going to use some of our fine tip glue and I'm gonna screw off the cap there. And I like to fill in the uh, flowers with adhesive. So I'm putting some of that liquid glue there and hopefully you'll be able to see. I'm gonna scoot this up. Then I just take some smaller areas and just put a little dab here and there. It doesn't have to be completely glued down. That's the beauty of it. All right, I probably have enough. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna flip this over and I am going to add it to our deco label shape. And at this point, I'm going to hold the heart down so that it will adhere to the crumb cake cardstock. 
Remember, when you decide to close your fine tip glue pin, you want to take this pin and insert it into this little hole and then uh, you can screw the top back on. And that keeps that little hole from getting clogged. All right, our next step is to go ahead and we're going to add our glimmer paper and I've already cut out this shape for you. I'm going to use my Tombow liquid glue for this. And I just wanna be careful not to get it on my fingers because when I do, the adhesive likes to stay there all day. Alright, so in just a few minutes here, this will be dry as well. I've got it right below this little V area here, okay? And then the B Valentine, I'm going to use the Liquid Tombow again. Now, I really like to use this when I'm working with our glimmer paper because it's hard to get things to stick to the glimmer paper. So the Tombow really does the trick that. Okay, so we're going back to our Bloom and Heart die. You'll notice the two flower framelits here, and we're using these and cutting this out in pink pirouette. And I'm actually going to use a glue dot to adhere it. And I'm going to put it about right there. And another glue dot Okay, I'm ready to add one of our pearls, and I do like to take my scissor points and kind of dig under that pearl so that I get the adhesive, and then I can stick it right to the flower. Let's try that one again. They are so tiny, they're very, very hard to, um, to put together. But there you go. Okay, so now let's work on our banners, okay? And these are the banners right here. So just wanted to show you that. This paper is from, um, I'll have to, I think it's called Love Blooms um, Designer Paper. If it's different, I'll put it on the screen. Plus I'll have a supply list for you. Okay, so these are the three strips that I'm going to use. And, and I'm gonna use our banner triple punch. And with the banner triple punch, you do want to insert the paper all the way in as far as it will go. This paper is measuring one and a half inches. And then you're gonna uh, punch. This paper here is also measuring one and a half inches. And if you notice, the banner is going correctly. The hearts are in the right direction. So when you insert this particular paper, you want the hearts to be going towards the punch. This is a one inch sheet of paper and I'm gonna insert this as well and punch it. So just to show you a little bit about this banner punch, you've got a one inch width, one and a half, and two inches. So there are three different size banners that you can create with this punch. All right, so now I do, I want to layer these. Whoops. All right, so I'm just going to add a little bit of snail. Let's see, let me do this a little bit better so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, about right there should be, should be good. And then I'm just going to put a strip of snail on that banner as well. And I think I will adhere it about right there, okay? Now it's pretty long, I'm not gonna need all this length, so I am just going to cut some off. You can do this with your stamp and trimmer if you don't wanna use your paper snips. And now I'm just going to add some snail right across the top, like that. And then I am going to adhere that to the rest of my embellishment, okay? All right, well we need this to be attached to the bag. So in order to attach it, we're going to use one of our clothespins. And I have taken just a little snip of designer paper. And I wanna add it to the front of the clip to make it decorative. I am going to use Tombow glue for this. So here we go, just need a tiny bit. And then we'll add our designer paper. 
just like that. And this actually dries um, very quickly, I guess because I'm gluing to wood. All right, I do want to add um, a bow, but you know what? I think we'll attach it to the bag first. So back over here, here's our cello bag. Our embellishment is all created. And now we're going to attach it, my designer paper slip, just a little bit. It was still drying. Okay, and so now I am attaching this to our cello bag. I've already taken the time to tie my bow, and I do want to use a glue dot with this. So, let's get this out. That glue dot is going to go right on the knot. And then I'm going to adhere it to the clothespin. I am going to use my ribbon scissors, and I'm just going to trim up that bow just a little bit. So, here's today's Valentine treat. These are perfect for any time. How about a special birthday? Just a special little treat for a friend to let them know that you're thinking about them. The, the uh, gumballs fit beautifully in it. Bath salts would work really nicely. Candy kisses, just anything you can think of to brighten someone's day will work in this cello bag. Please let me know if you have any questions. And thanks so much for buzzing by.